when you watch the breath. In some ways it's the same breath you've been watching all along. But there's always a possibility that something new may come up, to some extent in the breath, but primarily in your own mind. What's your mind bringing to this right now? Is it bringing the right attitude? It's important that when you're watching the breath, you look at the mind too. Get sensitive to what's going on in the mind. And as the Buddha said, if you want the mind to settle down, you've got to lift up your spirits. So it's not a drudgery. It's not a chore. It's an opportunity for exploration. Because here's your whole mind. What is about the mind you don't understand it? We come into the present moment not as a solution, but because the present moment is a problem. We don't fully understand what we're doing in the present moment. So we have to take the time to see, to look inside. Where is the stress? What's causing it? And how many links in the chain of causes can you see? In the Buddha gained awakening, it wasn't the case that he analyzed the problem of suffering and then sat around for a while and tried to figure out what the solution might be. It was in the analysis that the solution lay. That's why they say discernment is what leads to release. You really see clearly what's going on. And as the Buddha said, when you come to comprehend it, you see that it's not worthy of passion, aversion, delusion. And you let go. So try to comprehend the actions of the mind right now. Think of the Buddha on the night of his awakening. When he gained knowledge of previous lives, and then gained the knowledge that it was through action that the rebirth, or the process of rebirth was determined. He didn't go to the question of, well, what is it that gets reborn? Or where can I possibly be reborn? He looked at the action in and of itself. What are the actions that keep this process going? He tried to figure them out, trace them out one by one by one in a causal chain. And in seeing them simply as actions, it really hit him. What could you find of any kind of permanent value in those actions? So that's how he developed his passion. So be very clear about what's going on here. Then, as all the Ajans say, once you see that something is causing unnecessary suffering, you see it simply as an action you're doing, you say, why do this? You let go. You don't have to tell the mind to let go, it lets go. Now, all that can be found right here. So if it seems like drudgery to come back, you ask yourself, well, what are the steps of coming back? What are the steps of wandering away? There's something to explore here. When you take that attitude, you see there's a lot.